Hello and welcome to the Met Office 10 Day Trend. Warmer weather is on the way for the start of next week. That's rarely clear at this stage. We could even see 20 Celsius in the southeast. But before we get there, well, we're dealing with this over the next few days. Colder air from the north brought in by strong north to northwesterlies, gales around the north and the northwest coasts through Wednesday night into the start of Thursday. Those winds slowly moderating during Thursday, but it's a blustery day. It will feel cold in that wind, and the wind is pushing showers southwards throughout the afternoon with those showers falling as rain and hail at low levels, snow over the hills. 13 Celsius in the south, 7 to 9 in the north, feeling even colder with that wind. The wind comes down a little, and with clear skies for the start of Friday, potential for a touch of frost in places, but bright enough for many. An area of cloud and some rain potentially stroking the south coast first thing. That could bring some significant snow over the continent as the cold air mixes with it. And it will feel cold on Friday still with 11 Celsius in the south, 8 or 7 further north. Windy once again, not quite as windy as Thursday, but feeling cold in the breeze. And further wintry showers into parts of Scotland and Northern Ireland. But plenty of sunshine elsewhere away from those showers. And increasingly, skies will clear, winds will fall light overnight into the start of Saturday. And as a result, a widespread frost for Saturday morning, a cold start to the weekend. But a bright start Saturday looks like a dry and bright day, decent spells of sunshine for many places. And with lighter winds, it will feel pleasant in that sunshine. Of course, at this time of year, the sun is strong. So if you're out of the wind, it won't necessarily feel that cold although temperatures still below average, 10 to 12 in the south, 9 further north. Still some showers potentially for the north of Scotland on a brisk breeze. They clear out of the way and then again a widespread frost, gardeners beware, Sunday morning with temperatures in towns and cities at or around zero and even lower in the countryside. However, Changes are afoot. This area of low pressure is slowly progressing from the west. That's likely to bring some rain in during Sunday, mainly towards the northwest of the UK. Details at the moment a little uncertain, but most likely Northern Ireland, Western Scotland, Northwest England and North Wales. Drier and brighter to the south and the east and temperatures slowly starting to recover. Back to around average for the time of year, 12 to 14 in the south, 10 or 11 further further north where it will be fairly chilly still in the far north. Into Sunday night and Monday, uncertainty emerges about the progress of spells of rain or showers from the west. This low pressure becomes more and more erratic and its weather fronts likewise. It's all slowing down as it approaches the UK, but it looks most likely it'll be northern or western parts of the UK that bear the brunt of any wetter weather, particularly hills. And with a southerly airflow, it's certainly going to feel warmer, especially if we get some brightness coming through in the southeast. If that happens, temperatures could top out at 20 Celsius, mid-teens elsewhere. You can see the cold air remaining there in the far north with the potential for snow if the rain mixes with that cold air as it uh, progresses from the west. Now, as I mentioned, some uncertainties because the low pressure is slowing down at this stage. And the reason it's slowing down is because the jet stream is very wavy. Uh, when a wavy jet stream carries these areas of low pressure, well, it's like driving along a country lane. It slows down. And as a result, different computer models have different ideas about how fast that low will cross the country. The American model, for example, wants to keep the low further west and drier weather to continue across the UK. But most other computer models tend to agree that the low will erratically cross the UK during the start to middle of next week. And that would bring showers or longer spells of rain in, especially across western parts of the country. And on the whole, with uh, southerly, southerly or southwesterly winds, it will be a little warmer than the next few days. But increasingly through next week, those computer model differences become more stark. Now, this is the most likely computer model weather pattern from the European model for later next week. It shows higher pressure trying to move in from the south. Still some rain or showers in the west coming in on a west or southwest of the airflow. But generally drier than how we start the week. But even though this is the most likely weather pattern, there are significant differences 
even within the European model, which is run several times, and all those different computer model runs are tending to say slightly different things. Some went, some went higher pressure, some went lower pressure closer to the UK. And that's clear when you look at this graph. This shows the forecast date on the bottom. It shows the probability of different weather patterns. These weather patterns are represented by all these different various colors. Now, generally, the blues represent lower pressure effect in the UK. The reds represent higher pressure. And what you can see is a clear trend for low pressure over the next week or so. But by the time we get to the end of next week, the weather pattern I just showed is similar to the dark blue there, but it's actually only taking up about a fifth of the overall likelihood. And you can see some reds starting to emerge. And so that means that whilst we can't give a detailed forecast for what will happen later next week, there are trends that are starting to emerge that we can pick out. And the main trend there is that more of these reds uh, start to become evident in this European computer model run. And that would mean that there's an increased likelihood of higher pressure later next week and beyond. And a similar thing on the Met Office computer model output. This shows the date going way out to the middle of May. And uh, really, I just want to focus on the next 10 days or so, which is shown here. Now, it has a later start date for these reds to emerge. This is Friday here, next Friday. So the reds come along a bit later, but it's a similar trend. The reds become more likely later next week and into the following week. And that means that the general trend is for, well, first of all, it to turn warmer. Second of all, higher pressure increasingly through next week and into the following week. But a lot of uncertainty about how quickly that higher pressure will affect the UK, with still the chance of some rain, mainly in the West, throughout next week as we move through that transition from low pressure to start the week to higher pressure at the end of the week. Of course, we'll have more detailed forecasts for next week as we get closer to the date, and you can find all of that information on social media. Bye-bye.